This video shows you how to install the staple hole punch finisher into your printer. Depending on the model, the appearance of your printer may vary. Turn off the printer. Open the front door, and then turn off the power switch. Unplug the power cord from the electrical outlet, and then from the printer. Open the box. Remove the staple, hole punch finisher accessories. Remove the packaging material. Remove the paper transport. Put the box upright, and then remove the finisher. Remove the packing material from the finisher. Unpack the paper transport. Unpack bin 1. Unpack the finisher accessories. Insert the staple cartridge holder. Insert bin 1. Attach the brackets at the bottom of the finisher.
From the printer, remove the paper bale. Remove the standard bin. Open the front door, and then remove the standard bin side cover. Insert the paper transport. Close the front door. Insert the paper bale that came with the finisher. Secure the paper transport to the printer. Remove the network port's cover. Secure the paper transport cable to the printer. Insert the network port's cover. Open the finisher door, and then remove the screw. Close the finisher door, and then attach the finisher to the printer. Open the finisher door, and then secure the finisher to the printer. Turn the leveling screws clockwise to make sure that all sides of the finisher have the same height as the printer. Remove the connector cover at the rear of the finisher. Attach the paper transport cable to the finisher. Attach the connector cover. At the rear of the printer, remove the lower rear connector cover, and then insert the finisher cable. Attach the connector cover. Connect one end of the power cord to the printer. To avoid the risk of fire or electrical shock, connect the other end of the power cord to an appropriately rated and properly grounded electrical outlet. Open the front door, and then turn on the power switch. If the display is blank, then press the power button on the control panel.